Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your April soul session. I am Marlo, if you're new, and if you're family, welcome back, my friend. So we're starting with an overall energy for you guys for the month of, oh, interesting, of April. First card out we have is mistrust. I don't think we've ever gotten that before. It says suspicion, misgivings, apprehension, skeptical, having doubt in oneself or another person or situation. And then we have pressure. Oh, goodness. And it says feeling weighed down emotionally or mentally, burdened duties, obligations, accountability, and responsibilities. Interesting. I feel with this, uh, Scorpio, this is interesting. The first thing that I get with this is uh, it's almost like you guys could potentially be in a time sensitive kind of uh, situation or um, you're in a situation in which you feel unsteady, you feel as if you don't trust yourself or you don't trust the people who are around you. However, it's either time sensitive that you make a decision about something or there's someone involved with whatever this thing is that we're talking about that's putting pressure on you. So it's almost like needing to make a decision or something along those lines, you know, and it's either having distrust for yourself or for the people that are around you. So it's kind of trying to you know, balance out that energy or like weigh that out because a decision needs to be made in so many words. The next card that we have is Fox. And that says shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. And I feel in so many words that saying with you guys that there is no need for you to doubt yourself. I feel if you really listen to your inner self and your heart, you already know what to do or what would be ideal for you. And then we have Peacock and that says, beware of great pride. And the thing I heard for that specifically is in reference to, oh, okay. In reference to asking um, others for help. You know what I mean? Because it's almost like you're not feeling confident about making this decision or doing whatever this is, or, you know, this person or what have you, right? And it's not necessarily reaching out to anyone outside of you that could kind of help you uh, or offer you insight or another perspective in so many words. The next card that we have is scales. And maybe we're talking about a Libra person or you're a Libra Scorpio cusp, you know what I'm saying? And it says, keep your life in balance. Then we have bouquet. And that says compliments from an admirer interesting so for some of you guys this very literally um could be a situation in which there's a new person that's in your space and um it doesn't necessarily have to be uh romantical i mean it could be uh especially with compliments from an admirer here but it could be a new person that's in your space like potentially a uh well i don't necessarily want to say dating it feels more like a crush type of thing to me it could potentially be a new person that's in your space that's a you know potential romantic partner or something along those lines and um you just not having trust for people so it's kind of like what i i jokingly always say um with my staff is just like um like you know what you want what you're here for you know what i mean like not really understanding what the person's intentions are and feeling like um Aw, then we have uh, the five of cups and we have temperance until I figure out how I'm going to set this up. You guys, they're going to be upside down for y'all. <laughs> but anywho, um, I feel that uh, this could be a potential friendship or a relationship, but, and, and this is reminding me very much of Libra's energy. So if you guys are a Scorpio Libra cusp, I would definitely um, check that out. But I feel there's some sense of grief, loss, or disappointment that you guys went through in the past. And what I'm picking up on with this is you went into a situation wholeheartedly trusting like, you know, 110% and it didn't quite work out for you. So I feel that there's like a suspicion in a sense, but I also feel an energy of kind of like a shame with this Scorpio where it's almost like um, you guys feeling kind of embarrassed, if you will, about whatever this is that happened past tense. 
because and I talked about this before I don't know why this whole thing is happening today where I'm remembering readings but I can't remember what it was specifically it might not even have been a reading now that I think about it it's actually the podcast that I was on I was on um the through the looking glass uh relationships through the looking glass podcast it's on you know apple Podcasts and all the podcast places and we were talking about um authentic forgiveness and that's where I was speaking about this because um the host who her name is Michelle um she asked me a question along the lines of if I feel that it's more difficult for women to forgive versus men right and the whole thing that I was saying is I don't really feel that you know gender has anything to do with it but I find that at times but I feel like it's something that both men and women deal with is it's easy for us a lot of times to forgive other people, but not forgive ourselves because we feel like, oh, how did I fall for that? You know what I mean? It's like, how did I, you know, how did I trust this person? Whatever, whatever. And then another thing I'm hearing, which is a total sidestep from what I was saying, is if there is someone, Scorpio, that's in you guys' space right now, and this person is putting, like literally putting pressure on you, like, it, like say if this is someone that you know you're dating and they're like are we getting married tomorrow or no or if your boss is like are you gonna wash my car or no right and I'm saying really crazy stuff to kind of get the point here but if you feel like if this mistrust you feel is like an unease where something feels kind of off kilter even though everything looks really good but if there's a person who's like pushing you to move quicker like unnecessarily, like trying to give you an ultimatum or something like that. Be cautious about that. That's just a little side note. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, back to what I was saying, when we talk about keeping your life in balance with the scales card and this temperance coming out, which is Sagittarius energy, by the way, I feel the thing that's throwing you guys off kilter is a level of unforgiveness you guys are having um, either with yourself in reference to a disappointment or this could be uh, just something you guys went through past tense that you haven't quite let go of. So everything it is that you guys are experiencing in the present, you're seeing it through the lens of this disappointment. You know what I mean? And there's a need to transmute that energy and transcend this particular timeline and come out of agreement with this five of cups energy. Cause I feel that's really what's throwing things off kilter for you guys. And then you have the chariot in the reverse which is cancerian energy but it's also speaking to that balance of yin and yang and masculine and feminine and i and i mean this is much like how it was for libra i feel the whole issue is here um scorpio again we got two of pentacles i feel the whole issue is here scorpio you guys are having difficulty with moving forward making a decision trusting yourself or trusting other people because you still have one foot that's very much like chained to the past so it's kind of blinding your vision and it's preventing you from being able to see the truth clearly or see the path clearly but then at the same time it's like suffering in silence because i feel like an external opinion you know what i mean would help out a great deal with wise counsel or someone that you trust but i feel there's a level of stagnation and an inability to move forward um, oh, hell, <laughs> all these cards. I feel that there's a, a sense of stagnation and an inability to move forward because of your past really greatly influencing how it is that you're seeing your present. And I don't necessarily feel it's, and it's not necessarily helping up for the situation that you're in. It's not saying that whatever it is that you guys are dealing with in April, whether it's good or bad, because it's less about whether the situation is good or bad. It's the fact that whether it is good or bad, you couldn't see, you know what I mean? Because you're looking at it from almost like a half full pessimistic uh, mindset. So even if you had the illusion thereof of moving forward, you really wouldn't be moving forward because you would just be moving forward externally, but internally or mentally, emotionally, you would still be in the same place. And I feel like that's really what the problem is here. It's the fact that you guys have gotten older. And this is reminding me of a message that's been coming out for Taurus for some time. That's your opposite sign. You can learn a little something, something from that. But it's the fact that I feel for you guys, which is just like Libra, 
if you guys have been working on something or trying to accomplish something, trying to achieve something, regardless of what it is, friendships, relationships, career, business, money, what have you, and it feels like one step forward, two steps back, the whole reason why that's happening is because in the external sense, you're making changes and you're doing things different, but because your mind hasn't been renewed and you're still emotionally in the same place, your life still feels exactly the way that it always has, if that's making sense. So despite, you know, getting older, making more money or, or having this illusion thereof of moving forward, you're still feeling very stuck, no matter how much you've achieved or you've progressed. And it's all because of you still being in the same um, emotional state or vibrational frequency that you've always been in. So the true deliverance and how you ascend this particular timeline, Scorpio, is by you guys addressing what this five of cups speaks to, of what caused you to not trust yourself or caused you to not trust other people in the first place. But I'm also seeing two conflicting energies in the sense that there's a distrust for people, a distrust for yourself, but at the same time, there's like almost like a submissiveness in the sense because it's like a people pleasing where you feel like um, it's almost like you could tell a person like F you, like I don't care what you think or what you feel, but then deep down inside you do. So even though you don't feel comfortable in a situation, you're, you still can succumb to the influence of other people, if that's making sense. Now, those of you who don't know, whenever cards come out sideways for me, I look at this as a choice, right? So it can either be reversed or it can be upright. And I feel what this is saying for you guys in this month is you guys can walk out of this. Y'all got to watch Libra's reading, I'm telling you. You guys could walk out of this month with a seed for your future, right? Something very tangible, right? that you can nurture and you can grow into your fulfillment or you could not, right? But that's all solely contingent upon, and I just heard for some of you, this is literally like a job offer for some of you. Um, it's a level of risk and where this pressure and this mistrust will come in is you guys getting offered this job and it being unknown. It's like, it, there's an element with all of this Scorpio of you guys, regardless of what this is speaking about specifically of you guys stepping into the unknown, right? And it's almost like you not knowing all of the variables or knowing the person or knowing the company or knowing the job or whatever. It's like that kind of instigates this mistrust because it's making you think to a situation in the past. Like I said, that you stepped out on faith, you took a chance and it didn't quite work out for you. You know what I mean? So what this would say to me is like with this chariot in the reverse, it's almost like you guys being in this inertia, like stagnant kind of state. And it's all because there's a fear of taking chances because you don't trust yourself, don't trust your judgment, or you're just not trusting the people that are around you. So you have the opportunity this month to embrace this opportunity or you can reject it. And it's totally up to you, you know what I mean? But I feel because this is speaking so much about balance for you guys, just like it's been speaking that to everyone <laughs> this month, I feel like it would behoove you guys to address these elements within yourself um, that relate back to this five of cups. You know what I mean? Because, it, and this even reminds me of what it is I said in Taurus's reading this month. It's like, you guys have the opportunity to live however you feel works for you. Like you can take a chance and step out on faith and, you know, get all hashtag fool card, or you could not. And what spirit is not telling me for anyone, it's not any dire consequences. It's like, Spirit isn't saying you need to make a decision to change your life by the end of April or else. It's literally like, hey, it's your world. <laughs> I'm just observing it. So it's kind of like whatever world you want to live in. If you want to take a chance and step out on faith and try something new and step into the unknown because it, it can offer you an opportunity. <laughs> Oh man, I love this card. That's the Hierophant. That is Taurus energy, of course. So uh, with this dude, I, I look at this Hierophant so much different because I look at it similar to how I always say with judgment, like ascending to a higher state of being. 
but this still is speaking to an element of balance with Jacob's ladder because it's pretty much when you're thinking about your thought space, it's like there's both positive and negative thoughts that are always going to be shooting through our mind because our mind is like an antenna all day long, right? So the way that we ground these things is with our belief system and with our own personal core values, right? So now we know what we are going to allow to come in that's positive, that's in alignment with us. And even if something, you know, is seemingly positive, it could be negative if it's not in alignment with our truth. You know what I mean? So in so many words, I feel because you guys, and this is a quote, I believe it was W.E.B. Du Bois who said it. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And I feel that's what the issue is that's really holding you guys back is more or less with you guys, Scorpio, there's a need to pick a side. There's a need to make a decision, to put your feet down, to, you know, either stay or go, to trust or not trust, but whatever the case, you have to pick one. If you choose to stay exactly where you are and to not trust the situation, that's totally cool, but one would need to embrace and acknowledge, you know, what the byproduct of that is going to be. If one, you know, wants to take a chance, then you have to relinquish all of these feelings from the past and wholeheartedly embrace the other cycle. But I feel the whole reason why you guys are in this kind of, you know, stasis or this duress, if you will, is because there's a lack there of a decision being made. So there's something that needs to be released that you guys are not releasing. And another thing I'm being told to say, going back to this mistrust and pressure is the reason why you guys may feel almost like there's fire under your ass, or you're feeling like a sense of anxiousness or anxiety or like, like you have to do something, you know what I mean? Is because that spirit saying, yo, it, you got to make a choice. You got to figure out what you're going to do. Are you going to stay? Or are you going to go? Are you going to go? Or are you going to stay? Like, which one is it? Which one are you going to do? You know what I mean? But I feel the reason why it's so difficult for you guys to make a choice is because you're not really trusting yourself. You know what I mean? And I feel that's always going to keep you guys disempowered to the situation to where, where you are now is kind of where you'll stay unless you're willing to take a chance, right? Now, the first card out you guys have, we have surrender your need to always be right. I feel that speaks back to our little peacock and beware of great pride. And what I feel <laughs> this means speaking about your need to always be right is being right about everything else that's going on. So even like a mistrust of people or, you know, seeing people in a negative light, it's like surrendering that need to be right, to be right about other people being wrong, if that's making sense. And it says, give others the gift of letting them be right, be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. And the other card you guys have is surrender frustration. And this says frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Dude, I like this because this is speaking to the energy that was in Libra, both their video on um, YouTube and in their extended, because in their extended, uh, one of their cards was speaking to, you know, that pausing, that breathing, but their main overall energy spoke to um surrender you know what i mean because especially you know if we talk a little human design especially if you're a generator you're not self theme is frustration so even if you're not a generator it's like anytime you find yourself in that vibrational frequency that's not conducive to progress right like this pressure this distrust of the situation there's a need to take a step back to accept that maybe you are not correct about this particular situation and to have faith and simply just take a chance, my beautiful Scorpios. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, that has been your soul session for April, my beautiful Scorpios. I'm going over to all of my membership platforms, my network, Vimeo, Patreon, all the places to do you guys extended. So if you're about that life, follow me on over there. But if not, I still love your face. And I will see you guys sooner than later, my friends. Thank you.